On behalf of the entire Austin I family, thank you for choosing us to help you see your best through cataract or lens replacement surgery. This video is designed to help give you the key steps that you should follow to ensure that you have the best surgical experience, particularly on the day of your surgery. And we also want to cover some key steps that we would recommend you follow before your surgery in order to make sure that your day of surgery experience goes as smoothly as possible. So question number one, what should I eat on the day of surgery or what should I not eat? We ask that you eat a light meal prior to your surgery. If you're having surgery in the morning, eat a light breakfast. You can have a cup of coffee or some juice or milk. There's no dietary restriction other than we don't want you to have alcoholic beverages on the day of your surgery. If you're having surgery in the afternoon, you can have a light lunch. The principle is we would like for you to have something in your stomach prior to your surgery. It helps the Valium that we administer work better. Now what is Valium? Valium is a little pill that we'll give you prior to surgery and it helps you to relax. It also makes you a little bit sleepy. So the Valium helps our patients get through the surgery with less anxiety. The surgery itself doesn't really hurt at all, but the Valium helps calm what may be going on inside. Another common question is, should I stop my medications prior to surgery or should I stop any medications? And the answer is no. You can take all of your normal medications at the normal times prior to your surgery. You do not have to stop any eye drops, any pills leading up to surgery. Continue to take them as normal. In particular, please continue to take your usual blood pressure medication before your surgery. Patients coming in quite often they're nervous and their blood pressure will be more susceptible to going up and we would like for you to take your usual blood pressure medications before you arrive at our surgical center such that your blood pressure is optimally controlled during your surgery. Another note on medications, it's extremely important that we know what medications you're using, their name, the dosage, and frequency whether they be pills or eye drops, exactly as you take them every day. If you're watching this video and you are scheduling your preoperative assessment and examination with your ophthalmologist, please print out or photograph your medications so we can document exactly which medications, again, their name, dosage, and frequency on the day that you arrive for your preoperative eye exam. If you didn't have that information during your preoperative eye exam, it would be very helpful if you could either fax, call, or email us that information days prior to surgery. Worst case scenario, if you're unable to do those two methods of transferring that information to us, please write down or print out that information and bring it with you on the day of surgery. It helps us tremendously and it helps your experience go better. Please be prepared to make payment for your procedure on the day of surgery. We accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Care Credit, cash, or check. If you're using a credit card or a debit card, it is recommended that you contact your bank or your credit card company prior to arriving at our surgical center and inform them of the upcoming payment. That way they know what to expect when the transaction goes through. And if it happens to be a higher than average dollar amount, your account will not be flagged and the payment will be processed smoothly and timely. Sometimes when patients try to make a larger than average payment for their surgery, the credit card or bank will flag that transaction 
and uh, disallow the transaction from going through and that might unnecessarily delay your surgery or worst case scenario cause you to not be able to have surgery on the day of surgery and have to reschedule your procedure. If you plan on using an HSA or FSA card to pay for a part or all of your procedure, please contact your human resources department for clarification on how to properly use any available funds from your HSA or FSA. You might have a daily limit on that FSA or HSA card and it's wise to know what it is before surgery. How long will the surgery take? Well, the surgery is usually very brief, but in general, you'll be at our surgical center for about two hours and you won't be able to drive yourself home for two reasons. We give you the Valium that helps you to relax before surgery and it makes you a little bit drunk, a little bit woozy, a little bit sleepy, and we wouldn't want you driving home on that. And secondly, we are of course working on your eye and it takes a while for your eye to recover after surgery. You won't be seeing perfectly immediately. You'll be blurred on that eye and we want somebody else to drive you home. So arrive at our surgical center with somebody who can take you home after your surgery. It's important for efficient flow through our surgical center that your driver who's gonna take you home remain on site for the entire two hours. And if we happen to finish early, that they're available to take you home. If they leave the premises, which we do not want them to do, and they're not available, for you when you're ready or worst case scenario, if there happens to be a, an emergency, then that can become a problem. So we ask that your driver remain on site during the entire time that you are at our surgical center. And we appreciate that. How do you dress on the day of surgery? You can dress in normal clothes, but because our surgical center is kept between 63 and 65 degrees, it actually will feel cold to most people. So we ask that you dress warmly, dress in layers. Please wear pants, wear socks, do not wear shorts or sandals. Dress warmly, that will make your experience much more comfortable because you won't get cold. We want you to stay warm. Even if it's hot outside in the Texas heat, it's cold inside in our surgical center and dress appropriately. If you wanna come in short sleeve shirts or pants, bring socks, bring layers that you can put on, bring a jacket that you can put on to make sure you stay warm during the entire two hours that you're here at our surgical center. Once you schedule your surgery, our team sets into motion a tremendous amount of work to prepare for your surgery. We might order a lens implant, special surgical supplies, special medications, and we reserve that time on that date for you. Our surgery schedule is very busy and the time is very precious to us. If you need to cancel because life just happens, please give us 72 hours advance notice. If you have to cancel your surgery and it happens to be less than 72 hours before your surgery, you can still cancel, but please be advised that there will be a $100 charge applied to your account for the late cancellation. If you wear a hearing aid on either ear or on both ears and you're having surgery to, for example, your right eye, please remove the hearing aid from your right ear. During surgery, we're going to place fluid all around your eye and some of that fluid may empty into your ear and damage your hearing aid. So we don't want the hearing aid on the side of the eye that's receiving surgery. You can continue to wear your hearing aid on the side opposite of the eye that's receiving surgery. Similarly for contact lenses, on the eye that's gonna have surgery, for example, if you're having surgery on your right eye, do not wear the contact lens on your right eye. You can wear the contact lens on the eye that's not having surgery. Do not wear the contact lens on the eye that has surgery. On the day of surgery, it's okay if you bring your personal items or your phone. However, we discourage you from bringing anything that is very valuable to you. We do have a small secure holding area for personal items, 
but we will not be held responsible for any lost items during your time at our surgical center. So please refrain from bringing anything that's super valuable, such as jewelry. On the day of your surgery, please bathe or take a shower and please make sure you wash your face and your eyelid and lashes very thoroughly such that you're very, very clean. If you wear makeup or mascara, please clean any makeup or mascara away from your eyelid and lashes thoroughly. We don't want any debris on your eyelid or lashes. A lot of patients will have crusty debris that accumulates on their lid and lashes. Use soap and water or maybe even baby shampoo and hot water and wash and scrub your eyelid and lashes thoroughly before you come to our surgical center on the day of your surgery. It'll help you have a safer and more successful result. On the day of surgery, please do not wear any creams, moisturizers, or facial lotions anywhere around your face because we apply a sterile sheet around the eye. Let's say we're working on your left eye. We're gonna apply a sterile sheet that has an adhesive that keeps the sheet in place and secure around your eye on the day of surgery. If you've applied a lot of lotions, creams, or moisturizers to your face, those lotions or creams will prevent the sheet from forming a secure seal around the eye that's having surgery. Oh, one other note on eye makeup or mascara, in addition to removing it thoroughly with any type of makeup remover, soap and water that you use and coming in spotless with very, very clean lids and lashes on the eye that's gonna have surgery, we ask that after your surgery that you not wear eyelid makeup or mascara for one week after your procedure. Starting day eight after your surgery, you can wear eyelid makeup or mascara without any restrictions. If you would like to wear makeup around your face or on the other eye the day after surgery, that's totally okay. Just avoid any eyelid makeup around the eye that receives surgery for one week after surgery. Your surgery will take place at our office and surgical center located at 2700 B Cave Road in Austin, Texas. 78746. When you arrive at our office, your driver may park at either the front parking lot or the rear parking lot to wait for your surgery to finish. When your surgery is complete, we will ask your ride to park in the designated area in the back parking lot shown here. When you schedule surgery to your first eye or you're scheduling your first eye surgery in general, we will ask that you purchase an eye kit. Included in that eye kit is a pair of sunglasses. When we do surgery, quite often we will instill drops that will make your pupil dilate or enlarge. While your pupil is dilated, usually for about six hours after your surgery, you'll be more light sensitive and the sunglasses come in handy. Dry eyes, let's talk briefly about dry eyes. Everybody, as we age, we make less tears and that causes our eyes to become dry, irritated, stingy, burny from time to time, and we'll have intermittent blurry vision. Now, if you're having eye surgery, your propensity to having dryness or dry eye only increases. So it's highly recommended that you go to the grocery store or pharmacy and purchase artificial tears like these in this image prior to your surgery. Bring the artificial tears with you and be prepared to use them every hour or two after your surgery. They'll help you see better quicker. So when we see you on the first day or the first week visit, your vision will get better faster and I think you'll have a better overall experience because you're seeing so well so quick. If you have dryness to your eye, it delays the recovery of your vision and you're gonna be blurred for longer. So please take the time to purchase these artificial tears from the grocery store or pharmacy. They're over the counter, they're not very expensive. A 10 to 15 milliliter bottle will generally cost about 10 to $12 and they're very safe. If you're using a prescription drop, such as our PMB drop, which we ask you to use three times a day during the first week, the common question is, how much time do I wait between installing the prescription drop and the artificial tears? 
Generally, you only have to wait about one minute between the prescription drop and any other subsequent drop. Similarly, it does not matter which order you place the drops in. You could put in an artificial teardrop first, followed one minute later by the prescription eye drop. So on behalf of the entire Austin Eye team, thank you for entrusting us with your upcoming eye surgery. We're gonna work extremely hard to make sure you have the best experience possible and that you have the very best outcome possible such that we can meet or exceed your expectations and we'll work hard to make that happen. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day. We're going to take great care of you. Thank you.